In this demo you will see how to read the error log when the import of mobilities fail, how to correct the import file following the instructions of the error log, and the most common error log messages. The scenario shown in this video demo deals with the import for a KA103 project for student mobilities. When importing a file, the system checks if the file is the right file type. Then it checks if the field format and content are correct, and finally it checks against the business rules. Here is a list of some of the business rules that must be respected when importing the file. Ben is a beneficiary. You will see Ben attempting to import a file four times, and it will fail three times. The first time, the import will fail due to importing an incorrect file type. The second import will fail due to validation rules for cell format and content, such as mandatory fields being left blank, not respecting the accepted decimal separator or date format, not using the allowed codes in place of field terms, as specified in the MT plus data dictionary. The third import will also fail, and a second error log produced, detailing the business rule that has not been respected. Ben has exported his template, and has updated all of the mobility information, but he did not save it as a CSV file type. Let's see what happens when he imports it. Click on Import. Ben selects his file. An error message is displayed on screen, clearly indicating that the wrong file type was used. Ben saves his file as type CSV. He imports the file again. Once the import is completed, the message done is displayed. Scroll down to view the history of the import. The import is still pending. Click on the refresh icon. An error message is displayed. Click on the link to download the error log. The error log opens. The file contains the same columns as the import file with the addition of the first column. The first column of the error log refers to the line number of the import CSV Excel file. Only lines that have an error will be mentioned in the error log. This will be indicated by the line number of the import file being mentioned in the first column. In this example line 4 and 6 have an error. If there are many lines with errors, it might be useful to freeze the Excel window. To do this, Select the cell B2. Click on the tab view. Click on freeze panes. Fields that were imported successfully will have no error message contained in the cell for that mobility. Scroll to the right. Note that for column K, nationality field, there is a text message, invalid, EAC. Dictionary value. This error message refers to line 4 of the import file. Check line 4 of the import file. Scroll to the right. You will see in column J, nationality, that the value is GB. Let's check for the correct nationality code for Great Britain. From the import export screen, Download the Mobility Tool Plus Data Dictionary. Go to Section 2, Countries. Notice that GB is not mentioned for Great Britain. But UK is mentioned for the United Kingdom. Correct the Nationality Dictionary code for Line 4. Back in the error log. In column CL, start date of the mobility, the message displayed is, format is invalid. Return to the import file, and select line 4. Scroll to column, CL-1, CK. 
As you see, dots have been used to separate the date format. Correct the format of the date, replacing the dots with dashes. Both the dash and the forward slash are accepted, as the date separator. Go to the error log file. In column CT, EU individual support total, the message displayed is format is invalid. Returning to the import file in column CT-1, CS, EU individual support total. You will notice that the amount entered uses a comma, rather than a point as decimal separator. Change the comma to a point. It is possible that there are more errors for each line in the error log. To check, scroll to the right. For column CW, force majeure. The message reads mandatory field not provided. Return to the import file. The field is blank. Notice that the dictionary value is indicated, as either yes, or no. Only one of these values. Yes or no will be accepted in this field. Add no. Ensure to save the file as CSV and with web encoding UTF-8. Import the file as before. Once the import is completed, scroll down to view the import history section. Click on refresh. An error log is displayed. As before click on the link to open the error log. You will now see a message displayed for the start date of the mobility. The message reads that the start date cannot be greater than end date. Change the start date of the mobility. Save the file as type, CSV and web encoding UTF-8. As before import the file. Scroll down to view the import history section. Click on refresh. A successful message is displayed. This concludes this demo.